My Father's Dragon by Ruth Stiles Gannett Chapter 1 My Father Meets the Cat One cold, rainy day, when my father was a little boy, he met an old, stray cat on his street. The cat was dripping wet and unhappy, so my father said, Wouldn't you like to come home with me? This surprised the cat. She had never met anyone who cared about old stray cats, but she said, It would be lovely if I could sit by a warm fire and maybe have a saucer of milk. We have a nice fire to sit by, said my father, and I'm sure my mother has an extra saucer of milk. My father and the cat became good friends, but his mother hated cats, particularly ugly old stray cats. Elma Elevator! She said to my father, If you think I'm going to give that cat a saucer of milk, you are very wrong. Once you start feeding stray cats, you might as well expect to feed every stray cat in town, and I'm not going to do it. My father was very sad, and he told the cat he was sorry. His mother had been so rude. He told the cat to stay anyway, and that somehow he would bring her a saucer of milk each day. My father fed the cat for three weeks. One day his mother found the cat's saucer in the cellar, and she was really angry. She smacked my father and threw the cat out of the house. But later on my father sneaked out and found the cat. Together they went for a walk in the park and tried to think of nice things to talk about. My father said, When I grow up I'm going to have an aeroplane. Wouldn't it be wonderful to fly just Anywhere you might think of. Would you like to fly very, very much? asked the cat. I certainly would. I'd do anything if I could fly. Well, said the cat, if you'd really like to fly that much, I think I know of a sort of a way you might get to fly while you're still a little boy. You mean you know where I could get an aeroplane? Well, not exactly an aeroplane, but something even better. As you can see, I'm an old cat now, but in my younger days I was quite a traveller. My travelling days are over, but last spring I took just one last trip and sailed to the island of Tangerina, stopping at the port of Cranberry. Well, it just so happened that I missed the boat, and while I was waiting for the next one I thought I'd look around a bit. I was particularly interested in a place called Wild Island, which we had passed on our way to Tangerina. Wild Island and Tangerina are joined together by a string of rocks. But people never go to Wild Island because it's mostly jungle and very wild animals live there. So I decided to go across the rocks and explore it for myself. It certainly is an interesting place, but I saw something there that made me want to cry.